Hello Libra, this is Crystal with We Are Magic. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. This isn't about just about tarot. This is about waking up to your higher self and your divine purpose, okay? All right, Libra, we are in new moon in Taurus. And with that being said, you're gonna to wanna to speak your truth, Libra, more than you do already, okay? So um, Libra, we're gonna see what spirit has for you for this new moon in Taurus to see what messages they need for you to most know at this time, okay? All right, Libra, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, hang out with us, join this little growing channel. Um, we're more about truth and growth. We're not just love and light, we're also dark and shadow. So with that being said, we're all about growing and learning and ascending, okay? Accepting all aspects of yourself, not just the fluff and the woo-woo, all right? We accept all things here and we are magic land, okay? All right, so with that being said, Libra, let's get it going. Now remember, this is for entertainment purposes only. This is fun, all right? Tarot's fun. All right, it's not the end all, okay? So if it doesn't resonate with you, Libra, don't accept it. You don't have to accept it. This is your universe, all right? You are the master of your universe. You control your universe, you and your higher self with the most high angel, spirit guides, and ancestors. So always keep that in mind, okay, Libra? Thank you, spirit. This is for Libra, sun, moon, rising. What messages do you have for Libra spirit for this new moon in Taurus? Oh, wow. So you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer is the card you have for this new moon in Taurus. Libra. Okay. Beautiful messages already. You and your loved ones are safe. So if you're worrying, if you're being a little worry ward, Libra, because I know y'all are, they're letting you know you have nothing to worry about that everything is going as planned, that you are safe, that your children are safe, your loved ones are safe, that there's no need to stay in that negative energy of um, worry because, you know, as a person thinks in their heart, that's what it becomes. So you want to think positive thoughts. You want to think, uh, meditate on things that bring growth, abundance, health, prosperity, not curses, death, negativity, loss, things of that nature, um, Libra, okay? So there is a new start coming in your private life. Something is rising up in connection with the people and places you hold dearest, okay? This can be to do, sorry, this can be to do, that's exactly what this says. <laughs> this can be to do with a member of your family, a flatmate, with, or uh, sorry, or moving house. If you're hoping to move forwards with something special in your private life, this card comes to you as a message that you can do it. If you've been neglecting your family, it's time to reconnect with them. If you've been neglecting yourself, you need to take better care of yourself and nurture yourself, Libra, more. If your insecurity is holding you back, that's something for you to work on now. Doing so could bring you your heart's desire. So attuned to the moon is this, Libra. Make sure you put family first. And y'all always do. Y'all always. Y'all are so family oriented. It's amazing. <clears throat> Additional meanings for this card. Let someone get a bit closer to you. So are you being standoffish, Libra? Are you being scared, Libra? Talking to Nisi, my sister. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. I'm putting your personal business out here, aren't I, sis? A new cycle is starting for your child or children. Oh, look at that. It's time to review your goals. Have they changed? So this is a new moon. So let's break out the manifestation board. Let's break out the vision board and the notebooks and stuff. And we start writing new goals down because this is the time to do it. Meditation will help you banish your insecurities, Libra. What you insecure about? Y'all got it going on. Like, really, stop it. Spending time near water will bring you peace and answers. Oh, Libra, I'm a water sign and I'm all about water. I mean, being near a river, 
being near a lake, being near the ocean, any body of water, hell, taking a salt bath. I mean, it's a vibe. The new moon in Cancer can be a super emotional time. The moon is all about emotions and Cancer is a water sign and also very emotional. Saying that, the moon is very happy in the sign of Cancer. It's one of her two home signs along with Taurus. So whenever you pull it, this card suggests that whatever happens next will be in your favor. It's especially positive for family matters. Look at Libra, go off, I love it. Good, 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 I like good readings. Like great readings, okay? All right, so we're gonna see what Tarot has to say. Let's put your business out here a little bit more for everybody to see. I know, I know. All right, Libra, sun, moon, rising, or anywhere it is prevalent in your chart, love. Cross watchers, these energies are inter interchangeable. So, you know, if you're spying on your Libra and you feel like the message is more about you, it's about you now, isn't it? Because I know about cross watchers. I used to do it all the time. Um, and this is not an attack on anyone. This is tarot readings are just a preview. Like I said, they're fun. When the cards come out and line with your life. Oh my God, nothing like it. I get excited. I love it. Okay. All right. Libra, sun, moon, rising spirit. What messages do you have for Libra? For this new moon in Taurus. Sun, moon, rising spirit. Sun, moon, rising. Okay, it's already coming out. We got a pop out that came out for y'all. All right, here we go. So, energy the month brings is the Seven of Wands. You guys are, sorry, I'm shaking. It's the Pride Zone. You guys are standing up for what you believe in. You guys are justice, balance. Y'all are yin and yang. Y'all are seeing from both sides. You guys have that energy going on about you. Um, something to move past is the nine of wands. So yes, you have been through it, Libra. You have battled and you did not give up. You're bruised, you're scarred, you're pissed, but you're still standing. You're still like, I still won. Y'all tried it but I still won. So move past that energy because now you got blessings coming to you. See what I'm saying? So don't ever stay in that shit. You won. Benefiting you this month, the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, starting of a new growth in abundance and prosperity. And also Pentacles is material. So it's family, you know, things that you feel, touch, see, hear, taste. Um, but yes, you're stepping into it. You're going after it. Um, this is a very steady earth energy uh, it's crazy because you're Libra and you got two fire things that you just went through but um yes you're standing up for what you believe in you're going for it. you may be starting a business or um starting a new job or school or learning okay um your spiritual growth this month on more fire a page of wands so yes it's more of you guys taking action taking action going after your passion and your inspiration um advice and encouragement this month the full you're like universe i'm open to all the things you want to give me i am tired and sick of worrying and waiting and trying to do everything by myself you are open to the universe you're just stepping off like i know you have me most high i know you have me creator i know you have me ancestors um under the deck energy is judgment <laughs> All right. So, yes, the universe is rewarding you, you know, for a job well done. Um, a karmic loop, all this stuff's coming to an end. You guys are coming into that growth, that abundance, that prosperity. Next card, the sun. Spoiled much, Libra? Spoiled a little bit? Yes, you guys are getting the sun energy. That's growth, abundance, happiness all around very joyful card very happy card so oh my god i love it yes y'all are coming out of this battle mode um this competition mode you may be in a competition right now you may be doing a challenge right now <clears throat> easy so yeah um you you know you, like i said y'all have been fighting for what you believe in you're got a little competition going on and then the meditation card came out you've got to rest 
You've got to take care of yourself, Libra. You've got to spoil yourself, Libra. You just push and push and you do so much for everyone else, but you don't do it for yourself. And the last card is the star. You know, you got the little Aquarian card coming out. So, you know, there's your air. <laughs> Barely got any air in this at all, Libra. But everything you got was great. So, yes, you have um, renewal, um, refreshments, um, blessings, abundance. Like I said, you guys are being favored by the universe right now. So let's see what angel guidance you got. I mean, for sure, it's amazing. Thank you, spirit. Goodness gracious. You and your loved ones are safe. Yes, y'all are. Y'all are so blessed, Libra. All right, Libra, sun, moon, and rising. Spirit, what angel messages do you have for Libra? Sun, moon, rising. What angel guidance do you have for Libra? Cut the cords. Cut the cords. Cut the cord of whatever that has hurt you in the past. Okay. Remember what I told you? This is the energy you're coming out of. You won. You're, you're in the reaping and harvest season now, Libra. So it's time to cut the shit that's not, it's not serving you. It's not helping you. I'll give you further guidance from the book. But um, I'll, I call mine pulling. Instead of cutting, I like to pull it from the root and give it back to source. Like here, take this energy. I don't want it, source. I don't want to deal with this anymore. Um, <clears throat> if you are finding yourself hanging on in a situation you know is unhealthy or negative, angel wisdom is encouraging you to call upon the help you need to release yourself from it. Know that angels are guiding you to surrender the need to direct and control at this time, Libra. So you can welcome in the spiritual support that is available to you. Um, <clears throat> When you ask your angels to support you in cutting the cords, they will help dissolve the connections that are hooking you into, a, into negative situations. You have to do your part too by removing yourself from harmful and draining situations. Um, if you have any questions regarding the situation, relationship, or outcome at this time, know that you are being guided to find a new way forward as it will be more rewarding and replenishing for you. Ultimately, cutting the cords is an act of self-care and love. Meditate and rest. All right. So, yes, guys, you are cutting cords. You're moving past what hurts you. Where would I want to put this? Um, what disappointed you. So, that's amazing, Libra. You're doing great. I'm so proud of you guys. All right. Let's see what divine power affirmations we have from Christina Jerry. These are nice. You can order her cards from www.xtinajerry.net. I broke my damn time laying salt lamp. My poor baby. Mama, sorry. Anyway, honey, these tarot readings, I'm not cutting that out. Y'all can see the shenanigans. It's fine. It is fine. I promise. Hey, it's all good. These things are amazing. Don't worry, guys. It just fell down. My kids will run in here and go, what was that? It's mommy being a clumsy Scorpio. But yes, these are amazing cards is what I'm saying. Christina sees that. She's going to bust out laughing. <laughs> yeah, there's your sign. Order these cards. But yes, um, Libra, you're doing really good. And you're stepping out in that purpose. Stop worrying about your family so much because you guys are supported and protected. You got the sun, you got judgment, you got the star, you got all the beautiful cards stepping forth for y'all. I mean, cutting cords, angels are coming through, protecting you guys. Y'all have no worries, okay? None, none whatsoever. Thank you, spirit. What divine power affirmation does Libra need to focus on? That sound, I'm outside. We've got birdies out there. Okay, here we go. I am one with all of life, the divine, the divine energy of all 
life supports me. I am one with all of life. Remember, we are one. We're all one in source. We're all little sources down here living a life right now as humans, okay? Or animals or plants. I don't know what that sound is. This drives me crazy. I am one with all of life. The divine energy of all life supports me. Okay? So that is your divine power affirmation. You are one with all life, baby. You are the scale and balance. You are the Libra. You are the one that brings everything to oneness. Okay? Yin, yang, light, dark, positive, negative. That's Libra. And that's why we love you so much. And stay strong because you are badass apparently and um, you got it going on. And you're blessed and we're cutting cords. Your loved ones are safe. You are one with life. You have judgment, sun, the star, all this stuff, supporting your energy. You want to meditate more. You want to nourish yourself more. You want to take better care of yourself. You're going to step into your power and your purpose. You're going to go after that bread and make that money and do what you need to do so you can be your best Libra self. And I love you so much. And thank you for tuning in. <laughs> Sorry about my poor soul. Falling. It's fine. Remember, we are magic. <laughs> We are clumsy, but we are one. Okay. All right. I love you. Thank you for watching. And I will see you again next time. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Talk to you later. Bye.